What's up guys welcome to your 8th PHP tutorial in this tutorial I'm gonna be teaching you guys about another fun loop called the do loop now what this loop allows you to do is it allows you to execute an action at least one time no matter if it's true true or false so let's go ahead and let me just show you the best way by just walking you through the process of course we have a variable number and we'll set it equal to one now the do loop starts with the syntax do and then go to the next line and this is going to have a bunch of code so we're going to be entering some curly braces let me just move them over here so you guys can see them easier now in the middle this is what we want it to do in the beginning so we're going to say before we even tell you what the boundaries are take the variable number add one to it and then we want you to echo whatever that number is and then move on to the next line So again, this says, all right, here's what we want you to do. Take the number, add one, and then we want you to spit out that number and show us what it is. And then we want you to add a break, which means just go on to the next line. And then after that, outside of your curly braces, or curly brackets, whatever they're called, we want you to do this while the variable number is less than 10 so while variables less than 10 then the, just keep doing this so I'm gonna go ahead and save this and show you guys at first it added the number 1 to 1 which is 2 and then it kept doing that until it got to 10 but as you can see that well this isn't really a good example because it does it anyways but let's say the number was zero now as you can see this condition is false because one is not less than zero it's more than zero so now here's what's gonna happen we're gonna take this variable and it's gonna say alright spit out the variable add one to it then echo the number which will be two then go on to the next line and then it's going to spit all that out and it's going to show us that it's going to give us a two and then it's going to come down here and says while the variable is less than zero so it's going to be like whoa i wasn't even supposed to do that all right i'm going to stop doing that so now you save it as you can see it just spits out that two one time now as you can see unlike before it allows it to do it one time and just once if it's false but if it's true then it allows you to go through the whole entire process so that's why why the do loop is useful and a lot different than the regular while loop and in the next tutorial, I'm probably going to be going over another loop. So study this one until you figure out what all it means. I tried my best to explain it. And then when you're ready, go on to the next tutorial. Thanks.